Hello again. Um, this is a very short video which is following on from the last one I made on the restoration of the Pi black box. It was observed, um, quite rightly so, that uh, I did omit a lot of the technical stuff on the last video. It went from the, 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 the amplifier on the bench to actually um, the, the finished working record player. So this is a very short video um, and if you like it's the uh, um, the technical outtakes that uh, that I, I got rid of on the last one so I've put them back into this one and it just shows um, some of the technical bits that I did on the actual restoration of the amplifier and uh, some of the things that went on with that so um, for those of you who like that side of stuff um, here it is I hope you enjoy it and uh, hmm let's see what happens There were a number of small problems, but the main one uh, that was obvious when I got it on the bench was that the valve base on the Philips EL42 output pentode was very, very dodgy. And you can see here um, someone stuck wires up through into the connectors. Some of them were and some of them were not working, uh, so it gave it for a very intermittent um, amplifier. Uh, that was replaced by a, a brand new ceramic 8-pin uh, valve base, which I got from Langrex Electronics. Um, the other thing I had to do was put smoothing capacitors in. I just checked it by lashing these in like this with crop clips, um, um, and that cured the hum. There, were, uh, there was an open circuit on, on the um, control grid on the one of the other... One of the, uh, EL42s that was soon sorted and there's the valve base fitted you can see the capacitor in the lower right corner disconnected but left in place for aesthetic reasons uh, and you can see the new ceramic valve base fitted and screwed into place so yeah that was it it just remained then to get the capacitors um, fitted properly um, so that the whole thing uh, worked well Final check uh, with an external deck and preamp before putting the whole thing back in its case. This is Bing Crosby with the Andrew Sisters. So, having put it all back together, um, I'm really pleased with it. It sounds great. Um, it looks good. I polished it up a wee bit. And uh, I'm going to put this uh, somewhere where it can get lots of use and uh, go through my collection of 78s, cleaning them and uh, listening to them and maybe cataloging them. Who knows? Well, thanks for watching that. I hope that's given you a little bit more insight into the... Um, some of the intricacies of, of, the, uh, uh, of that amplifier and um, how well it performs when it's all working properly. Um, so thanks for watching. I'll be back very soon with a, a short video on how to change a plug, um, which seems very basic, but I've had experience recently of some awful plugs that have been fitted on, 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 on equipment and uh, I just thought it might be useful in a day when most plugs are pre-fitted to just cover fitting a plug on a cable. So I'll see you very soon and um, thanks for watching this. Give me a like if you liked it um, or ignore it if you didn't. But thank you for watching. Take care.